Hi folks, my name is Carl Airy. I'm going to give you a real quick video here on how to set up a free Skype account. Now this is the precursor video to many others on how to use Skype. Um, we're going to get through some beginning stuff, through some beginning lessons, through to intermediate and even some advanced Skype uses where you can use Skype for business in multiple ways. Uh, Skype is worldwide in scope. It is the number one online uh, a communication tool right now. Skype has just recently been purchased by Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft saw the value of Skype and paid uh, eight billion dollars for it. Um, Skype is used uh, by advertisers, by uh, internet marketers, by uh, individuals around the world seeking to reach out and touch somebody instantaneously. Skype can be used for video where you can have a video conversation with one person or um, or a conference a video conference with with people that you work with or family who are spread around the world Skype can be used in business in many different ways and I'm going to show you some of those applications later but for now let's just get set up with Skype now I've included in this video a magic pause button. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what I want you to know, though, is that as you go through this, through these steps, if you need to stop the video, just press pause and go ahead and complete a step or, or move forward in the application of setting up Skype on your own computer. I want you to, just to remember that it's really, really simple. Anybody can use Skype, and that's why it's so popular around the world right now. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you're wanna, gonna want to do of course is go to skype.com so I want you to type it directly into your browser window go to skype.com enter now on this page there is a this is a very friendly page meaning that there's a lot of great um, great help buttons uh, a lot of uh, information where you can move around the website and get clear clear concise info on what exactly Skype is and how to use it and and all of the different functions features that are available to Skype users but I'm gonna kind of give you a bit of a warning right now you don't need the majority probably ninety percent of the applications features and so forth that are available through Skype are not necessary to use it um, and to use it well so we're going to keep it real simple on this video and I'm going to show you how to set up an account and how to get Skype on your computer. Okay, now, first thing I need to know if you Skype get Skype can be used for mobile, whether you're using it on Androids, iPhones, any kind of smartphone, any other phone. It can be used through your TV, it can be used on on computers, Windows and Macs alike. So what we're going to do first though is over here in the right-hand corner is we're going to join Skype. Click So you can create an account or sign in from this page. So we're going to create an account. Repeat your email address. Set up your birthday. The reason for that they want your birthday and some of this information is so that they can um, give notifications to you. You do receive a birthday um, greeting and also the people who become your Skype contacts will see that you have a birthday today and you'll get Skype messages congratulating you for that. How do you intend to use Skype? Mostly personal conversations. Now Skype can be used for business. If you are a business person setting up a Skype account right now, you could choose the other option easily. It, it doesn't really matter too much. Now it's given me some options already. On I'm going to try just Carl Airy without any dots. I'm going to see if that works. So that's my full name. Skype name not available. It's already told me that. So let's go with this first. Let's go with 
this option here. Let's keep it real simple. It's giving me some suggestions. I'm going to take that suggestion. Now I can get Skype news and promotions about new features, products, and other Skype related information. I love Skype and I love getting the new updates. So I'm definitely going to allow them to send me that, that information. And sometimes these things are real tough to read. I'm going to do my best to get this right. And then I'm going to agree. All right. Now, what has happened automatically as soon as I, um, because the 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 website recognized that I don't have Skype on my account on my computer at this time because I I took it off for the purposes of making this video. So automatically, as soon as I entered that, it brought up this box, and it's going to allow me to download it now. Now, if you don't see that box come up on your computer, the next thing that you're going to do is follow the instructions here. Down, it says right here, download hasn't started yet. Try again, and you just click that button, that try again button, and that box should come up at some point. There are some simple steps to follow here. Click Save File. Then you have to know where you're saving it to. I would save it to your desktop for now. Or um, many of the new browser windows will just pop up with a file, um, a, a downloads window, and you can find that and then click this Skype setup file uh, within your download window. Then follow the simple steps that come up. So let's try it together. So I'm just going to start the download. Downloads already happened. I'm going to open the file. I'm going to say yes to allow this. I'm going to choose English because that's my language. <laughs> Agree to the installation and the, the installation will take place now. I'm going to just fast forward this video. Okay, and here we are. So now I have Skype on my computer. I want you to know one thing, one really important thing. Skype is free. There are many features that you can purchase and you can pay subscriptions in order to phone landlines or mobile phones around the world with your Skype phone or with your computer, with your headset. Um, but it is free in, in most respects. I've used Skype for um, Skype was created in 2003. I think I got my first Skype account that year. I was one of the very first users of Skype and I've been on it ever since and I've got thousands of people in my Skype contacts now and I would encourage you to uh, learn more about how to use Skype and, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this introductory how to get set up with Skype.